In this video, I'm going to show you the sleeping setup that we have in my wife's car. We're in it now, or I'm in it now. This is a 2002 Toyota Highlander, and we are just finishing up a two-day trip with uh, the two of us, me and my wife, and then my dog, or our dog. And uh, this fit us all no problem. We had a great time, and I want to show you how we fit everything and how everything works, how it all goes together. And I think I'm going to switch over to the GoPro for part of this video, uh, just so that I can fit more of, of the inside of the vehicle in here. Um, it's really, really, really windy outside, so I'm going to try to avoid being outside too much. So here is basically the whole setup. We've got our two beds, one here, one here. These are both foam mattresses. I've done a video on these. These are $20 foam mattresses. I'll put a link in the description to those. And then um, to kind of bridge the gap between the, the front seats here and the back seats when they're folded down, so the, the rear seats here are just folded down forward. To bridge the gap, we have a piece of wood. This is a, um, we've got two of these. They're, each is about, you know, roughly about two feet square. And then there's just uh, some cord holding it up, going around the front headrest and then back down to the other side. And so basically that just creates a nice solid platform for our, uh, our heads to rest on. Further in the back, this pile of stuff over here, I know this doesn't look like super pretty. This isn't a, an Instagram friendly um, camping setup, but it's, it's practical and it's, uh, it's easy and it's cheap. It, it, uh, it works well for us. So anyway, this pile back here, this is all of our bedding. In here now, I believe we have three sleeping bags and like three or four pillows. So that's all kind of stuffed in that corner. Over here, this blue bag. This is an Ikea shopping bag, actually. A big duffel bag will work just as well. Actually, a, a big duffel bag would probably work better so that stuff won't come out. But this is just a, a 99 cent Ikea shopping bag here. And this has our clothes, a couple of books, um, some headlamps. Uh, my fishing gear is in there. It's just a, just a hodgepodge of, of miscellaneous items that we don't want rolling around in the car. It's handy to have it in a big bag like this because we can easily transport it from the house into the car and then also from uh, the back of the car during the day into the front seat of the car where I am right now kneeling uh, at night. So basically the idea with this setup is that during the day our stuff is in the back and then at night when it's time to go to bed we move the stuff to the front. This is our dog Bowser's bed and during the day it's back there and then at night it gets switched to the front seat. So my wife and I sleep back here and Bowser the dog sleeps up here but he's small enough that he can also sleep um, in between us back here. He, he came up this morning or Cassie brought him back to, uh, to sleep with us, to cuddle with us this morning. Now the cooler is interesting here. So it's a big thing, kind of a pain to deal with. And when the two of us sleep in my car, which is a, a RAV4, which is smaller than this, we have to move the cooler from the back to the front. So we, we move the cooler from back here where it is to the front seat, basically. It kind of sits up here. So we have uh, the sleeping area to ourselves. This car is actually big enough that we realized we don't need to do that. We can keep this cooler exactly where it is. And you can see there's a little bit of room. There's like a, like a foot of space here and a foot of space here on either side of the cooler. And that's where our feet go. So I sleep on this side and my head is up here. My legs are here and my feet go right here. And I can't, so I end up sleeping kind of a little bit diagonally to, to fit my feet in there. Then my wife does the same thing over on this side. She sleeps a little bit diagonally or with her, uh, she sleeps a lot with her legs kind of curled, tucked up. And so this configuration is actually really nice because you don't need to move that cooler. You don't have to haul that thing between the front and back of the car. It's actually really convenient. I guess next up are the, uh, the window screens back here. I make and sell these. I call them bug screeners. And uh, they're just held up on the inside with magnets. And um, it's really great because when you get to a campsite, you can just pull up and roll the windows down and you're ready to go. Last night was a perfect example of why that's a good thing. There were tons of mosquitoes in our camp area last night. And so we were doing stuff for most of the day. 
then at night we had to go find a campsite and so we you know we drove to a campsite found a spot and instead of having to like get out of the car and move stuff around and then get back in through the the back door and you know try to set up the the bug screens on the outside or you know there's there's another kind that like pulls up pulls over the door rather than having to do that we need to mess with that at all we could just stay in here and so we just came to our campsite parked crawled into the back after lowering the windows here worked really well didn't get any mosquitoes in uh, i sell these uh, at my website at uh, kamchatkagear.com you can go there and uh, and if they're in stock you can buy them if they're not in stock you can be added to a waiting list to be notified when they are in stock and then i guess the last piece let's see if i can crawl back here and get it these are these are window coverings. I made these a couple days ago out of just a black poster board. I think each one of the each sheet of these of this stuff was less than a dollar at Walmart. I got six sheets and was able to make enough uh, window coverings for these back three windows and then the side front windows. These windows I need to make curtains for because uh, you don't want to stick this in the window because then you can't have this window open to get ventilation so you want to have like you know nice fabric flowy fabric curtain there and then for the front we have one of these just regular windshield shades that we that we stick up uh, in the front here and then i guess that's mostly it but up front let me just show you we have these um one of these seat covers and uh, we'll be getting another one for uh for the driver's seat here these are really, really great seat covers. I have two of them in my car and we'll get a, a, a second one for her car. I'll put a link to these in the description too. And then for power, we've been using this. This is a great thing. This is the Jackery Explorer 240. Uh, they gave this to me, Jackery did. They gave this to me uh, for free to review. And I made a review uh, about it a few months ago. And um, But I've still been using it. It's just super handy and uh, it's, it, it's really great to just like charge up at home and then you bring it in the car, plug in a couple USB things into it and and uh, it's plenty of power for, uh, for a three or four day trip at least, depending on your power needs. And I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful for you and informative, educational, entertaining, all that good stuff. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.